The future of Kate's law now faces an uncertain future after Senate Democratic leader Harry Reid moved to block the legislation from Senator Ted Cruz. Uh, the legislation would create tougher penalties for illegal immigrants who re-enter the country after being deported. Cruz and Senator Reid clashed on the Senate floor yesterday. This ought to be a clear choice. With whom do you stand? Do you stand with violent criminal illegal aliens? Or do you stand with American citizens? Do you stand with our sons and daughters and those at risk of violent crime? The new mandatory minimum sentences bill would create would have a crippling financial effect. And that's an understatement. With no evidence that they would actually deter future violations of the law. This is yet another attack on the immigrant community. Our next guest is a proud supporter of Kate's Law, and joining us tonight is presidential candidate, former U.S. Senator Rick Santorum. And let me begin, Senator, by uh, congratulating you on uh, being in the debates and uh, getting ready to take on uh, all of your opponents. Well, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to be on, uh, on the national stage, and uh, I think it'll be a, 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 a lively debate. <clears throat> looking forward to uh, to engaging in it. Well, we're looking forward to it, and uh, and uh, it's actually, congratulate it's you. Yeah, actually, Lou, the issue you bring up, immigration, is actually one of the issues that uh, I probably dif disagree the most with uh, the people on that stage. And, mm -hmm. um, and you know, we we put out a, a very comprehensive plan that talks about limiting the number of both illegal and legal immigrants in this country, returning illegal immigrants out uh, back uh, to their home countries. Uh, no one else in the in this race has taken the position I have of limiting, uh, actually reducing the number of legal immigrants to make sure that American workers aren't hurt by the number of low-skilled workers coming into this country, over a million a year. And secondly, actually not providing amnesty. Everybody else in this field, the Republican field, has been clear that they actually allow, are gonna allow people who are here illegally to stay in perpetuity. And, and I'm the only one that's actually different on that issue. Uh, well, Trump says he's going to send people back. <laughs> Well, he says, then he says, all but the good ones. Uh, so I, I don't know what that means. So, you know, so, uh, you know, it's, it, with I Donald, it's, it's, it's a little looser a translation. Yeah, I, I think what that means in terms of uh, the, the candidates uh, and, the, and the primary elections approaching is it's early days. But, uh, but uh, I, I want to turn to Kate's law on the issue of uh, yeah. immigration and illegal immigration in particular. Uh, Kate's law. For, for Reed to block this, to stand up and block it, I, is one of the most stunning things I've seen. As you know, uh, our colleague Bill O'Reilly has been pushing this issue from the very, uh, the very beginning. You have been supporting it uh, yes. a, a handful from the very beginning. But for this to die this way because of uh, the rules of the Senate, uh, which are being manipulated by an obstinate uh, obstructionist like Harry Reid, is breathtaking. Well, just remember, 41 of his colleagues uh, on the Democratic side, or si almost every Democrat, if not every one of them, sided with him. If he didn't have the support of the entire Democratic caucus, uh, and by the way, President Obama, uh, that bill would have passed. So it's not just Harry Reid. It's not just a, tac a tactic. This was, this was an attempt uh, to, uh, uh, to use the laws, rules of the Senate uh, to legitimately block this bill. And you can't do it unless you have uh, 41 votes, and, and he did. And so... You have to look at it this way. The, the Democrats, unfortunately, have become uh, so wedded to power, and they, they are uh, mm -hmm. attached to certain voter groups, and they are going to do nothing to uh, other than try to spike up interest and spike up right. resentment within those voter groups. And that's what they're trying to do here. Uh, instead of looking as to what the best interest is of America, and I might add, even people within those voter groups, they make this into a racial issue and try to, again, mm -hmm. spike up support within that group. You know, but they've been doing it for so long, and it seems the Republican yeah. Party does not have good rejoinders to what is straightforwardly uh, uh, simple uh, you know, political propaganda uh, and some clever maneuvering from time to time on the issue. Let me turn, if I may, uh, to, to where we are with uh, the Republican Party. Uh, Kentucky, uh, rolling back marijuana legislation in Ohio. You, you have got to be encouraged by those developments uh, and, and, and other, otherwise across the country. 
We had a good, you know, some good nights in bad. In Pennsylvania, we didn't have such a good night. Uh, the Democrats sort of swept everything in our state. So, I mean, I think it's it's a uh, it's sort of a mixed bag in, in these off-year elections. Very encouraged by Kentucky, but also just, you know, look at the Kentucky situation. The polls were off by about 10 points. Uh, so I, I think we need to we need to focus, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we were talking earlier, more on the issues, what the candidates have to bring right. to the table. And I think one of the reasons, for example, we're not winning the immigration issue, Lou, is we, we're attacking it the wrong way. Right. We need to be talking about American workers, and I'm talking about all American workers, both people who are here, uh, who immigrated to this country legally, as well as people who were born here, and talk about immigration from the standpoint, how it affects them, how it affects the economy of this country. And that, to me, is where the Republicans are missing. They're, they're targeting too narrow a focus on this issue. Rick Santorum, good to have you with us. Again, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you in Milwaukee. Thank you very much, Lou. As we discussed, we just announced the participants of those debates that will be held next Tuesday here on the Fox Business Network. And in that 7 p.m. debate, Governors Chris Christie, Mike Huckabee, uh, Bobby Jindal, and Senator Santorum, as I said. And in the 9 o'clock debate, Donald Trump, Ben Carson, Senator Marco Rubio, Senator Ted Cruz, Governor Jeb Bush, Carly Fiorina, Governor John Kasich, and Senator Rand Paul. We hope you'll be with us. Be sure to vote in tonight's poll. Have you made up your mind which candidate you're most likely to vote for in the presidential primary elections? We'd like to hear from you. Cast your vote at LouDobbs.com. And if you will, follow me on social media. Follow us on Twitter at Lou Dobbs News. Go to our Facebook page, uh, Lou Dobbs Tonight, and links to everything at LouDobbs.com.